Hey, welcome back everybody. This is the next to last video in our series on uh, which vehicle is best to live in for full timing. And today we're going to look at Class A motorhomes. And you know, these are the big bad boys um, that, that offer you all the comforts of home and everything you could want. Plenty of room to move around in. Stand up and walk around, move side to side, you know, pass front to back. It's, it, you know, this is, this is as good as it gets. And now they're going to range from uh, when I say Class A's, you go, you can be at old Class A's right up to brand new ones that are six figures, you know, and cost more than most houses. So there's a wide range in Class A's. We're just looking at that size vehicle and how they might work for you for full timing. So good stuff. You got all the comforts of home. Really, anything you could want at home is you know, Class A is going to give you an apartment on wheels, basically a condo on wheels. Uh, space is usually really good. You'll have plenty of space and you usually have plenty of storage as well. So you have room to move around and you have storage, both for stuff you use day to day and for longer term storage. So that can be really nice. Uh, the height is usually such that you can walk around in them without any problem, without bending over or anything. That's great. Uh, definitely something worth thinking about and considering. And security, you can pass through right from the front to the back, no problem. So, uh, and from the back, Security, you pass through right from the back to the front, no problem. So that's nice because, you know, if you need to move camp quick, you can just get into the driver's seat and drive away. Bad things about a Class A, uh, yeah, first of all, they can be a little challenging to drive if you're not comfortable with a big rig. Especially you get into city or traffic or whatever, they're big, you know. Um, fuel efficiency is terrible in those things, um, like single-digit terrible. Uh, so, you know, if you're not driving much and you got the budget, maybe that's okay, but if you're on a tight budget or you're looking to drive a lot, that's that just may not be a vehicle you want to think about. Uh, stealth, you know, you're not going to be doing stealth camping unless you're at Walmart, which isn't really stealth if it's legal. You're not going to be really camping somewhere that's not legal because you're going to stand out like the proverbial sore thumb in a Class A motorhome. Uh, maintenance can be an uh, issue with the Class A's. The engines are often very difficult to access whether it's front or rear drive <coughs> engine is they, they both can be difficult to access uh, the installed systems like hot water heaters and furnaces and refrigerators can be difficult to service and expensive as well uh, so that's something to be aware of cost any decent class a is usually going to set you back pretty good it's a good chunk of change you're not going to find one too cheap most likely uh, and boondocking you know is going to be limited because of just because of the size of the things and the low ground clearance um, and they're not designed to drive off roads so can you boondock sure uh, but you know you're gonna find places where the road conditions are such that you just cannot get the rig down it or that you know maybe there's trees or other overhang and you can't get through to it so it will limit you if you are in a class A in terms of where you can boondock General recommendations, if you're looking at a Class A, consider the condition of the vehicle, uh, the quality of the build to start with, you know, how good of a reputation the manufacturer have, um, any known issues it has, uh, you know, start with that, and then carefully inspect for any evidence of leaks or, uh, you know, poor repairs, poor maintenance that might tell you it hasn't been maintained very good. Ideally, you want to get one that's been maintained well and doesn't have any leak problems. And test all the systems in it, you know, stove, refrigerator, plumbing, test everything and make sure it works. And if you can't test it, just assume it doesn't work. Other, otherwise, you may get stuck with some expensive repair bills. So, you know, hope this video helps you out as you're considering uh, which vehicle is maybe best for you to live in. Uh, Class A's are kind of the, the big bears of, of the, the full-timing world. Some people, they work well. You, you see them most in RV parks and stuff. You don't see them as much in boondocking, but, but you do see them some. Uh, and you see some older ones and, and some newer ones. So it, it is an option for some people if you've got the budget for it and you want that kind of comfort and space, it's something to consider. Uh, but means, so one more video in a series. We'll wrap it up with... Uh, you know, some thoughts about uh, my overall thoughts about which vehicle may best to live in. And so meanwhile, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. And give this video a thumbs up if you, uh, if you like this video. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, everybody.